Did you see the Board Ape game comes out? No way. No way. Is that actually coming out? Whoa! Holy shit, I had no idea. Oh, wow. First Board Ape NFT game cost $2,300 for three weeks of play. Uh, I... Oh my. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't know if that's accurate or not yet since I clearly don't know anything about it aside from the tech demos they used to show which were absolutely laughable jokes. But that does sound like some board ape kind of shit. You have to pay hourly for access to the game or something. Thanks to Prime, Kaiman, and Adam. Let's see Young cover it. Board Ape Yacht Club, one of mankind's dumbest inventions amen uh, this is True. an nft brand that gained a lot of traction after celebrities endorsed it and after nfts skyrocketed for a bit before they plummeted and there was this hype train this gold rush going on for a bit that has kind of waned but you know they're bros who are still hanging on you got situations like these which are really funny somebody highlighted how funny it is to watch nft bros learn about screenshots and how they feel like when somebody right clicks and saves their nft images it's like stealing so right here i got the same one oh, this is this is vintage this in response to kingle's uh, nft monkey here and that's the vintage copy pasta now. Yours. Dude, I own this NFT. Do you really think you can get away with theft when you're showing what you stole from me directly to my face? My lawyers will make it an easy job of this case. Prepare to say goodbye to your luscious life and start preparing for the streets. I will ruin you. You know what you said, Dilly. Acting Andrew. like downloading a JPEG from the image is the same as trespassing and theft. And it's just the fact that these NFT bros don't understand what they're actually buying. You're not buying the image. You're buying the receipt that links to the image. There's also very little legal precedence for this stuff, not to mention the law will never say that downloading a JPEG from the internet is illegal. And what you paid money for was, in fact, the NFT, which is not the image itself, just the thing that says you own the image. And, you know, you're the one taking its word for it, so good for you, I guess. But for the rest of us... We'll just download the JPEGs how we feel like it. It's the internet, man. You've got other NFT bros saying things like, you think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs? Okay, so we're going over the history of NFTs and the property. meltdowns. Go f Where's the game? Well, now here comes next generation stupidity in the oh, form of this NFT game that is essentially just another major grift. Let's check this out. I'll break it down as the trailer goes along because some of the stuff that they talk about here doesn't even sound like English. Here we go. Hold on, so that this just showed me they put out a trailer for this. Board Ape Yacht Club's next chapter, what you need to know about sewer passes, the skill-based mint, and more. The skill-based mint, huh? Hmm. A whole lot's happened in the swamp recently. Let's recap. We I'll do a quick recap for you. NFTs have never been less valuable. Uh, recaps over. Uh, it crashed and burned. We started down here. Competed for glory when we got over here. And a whole bunch of other really cool stuff took place in between then and now. And it's all Which gone. All leads us to the trial of Jimmy the monkey. It all started when Jimmy took a shit so atomic, he ripped a damn hole in the space-time continuum. Curtis was handed a mysterious box and a key from another universe, but instead of opening it, they partied. And now the is this where Justin Roiland went after the whole uh, domestic violence stuff? His uh, he write this? Chocolate pocket? <sighs> it's his butthole. Now it's up to us to open that box, and we got to take the long way around to get the key through the sewer. Starting January 17th, each ape and mutant can claim a sewer pass that grants access to the bowels of the Yacht Club for a skill-based so cool. called Hype. Dookie Dash that begins January 18th. Like, how- there has to be some level of shame when you're spit- board apes are- well, were very expensive. Now they're probably worth less than a pack of cigarettes, but at, so, at one point they were very expensive. How can there not be that level of embarrassment where, like, I spent thousands of dollars for my dookie dash? Like, you're telling your friends about, like, your investments. Like, guys, you guys really need to get the sewer pass from the latest board apes. It allows you for five dookie dashes in the skill-based mint through the glorb hole. I like, guess that's, that's wild to me. 
Like, you actually have to be fucking stupid and shameless to think this is a good idea. It just sounds embarrassing. That begins January 18th. You'll be able to claim one sewer pass per board ape or mutant ape you own. And there are nice. special tiers if you have a doggo to go with. Oh, the doggo, of course, got, naturally. Your sewer pass may include a Big doge. Bonus. What about While a chungus? Apes are the only ones who can claim a sewer pass, anyone who has a sewer pass can play, not just apes. You can get a sewer pass anytime between January 17th and February 8th. Make sure you hold on to your sewer pass and play at least once if you want to make the most of it. On January 18th, the sewer will open. Woo! Can't wait to go in the sewer, see the, sewer see the Ninja Turtles. fragments from another universe. Wow. You want to collect these fragments, and some are worth more points than others. Watch out for obstacles and survive <laughs> as long as you can to rack up more points. It's so beautiful, this is the game. This is not what I saw originally. They tried to do a Bored Apes MMO. I thought that's the game that was coming out. This is legitimately a Flash game from Addicting Games, pretty much. But this is one that you have to put a lot of money into. It's a fucking NFT game. And not only an NFT game, a Bored Ape one, which was the most expensive NFTs. Huge, so huge. Paying for access for the worst game imaginable. You can also use ApeCoin to buy power-ups that'll help you. You'll have three weeks to play as many times as you want. This is a skill-based mint. The longer you survive and the more fragments you pick up, the higher your score. The highest score you get across all your runs will be recorded. And when the sewer closes, the highest score amongst all players gets the key. And Whoa! All eligible sewer passes will prepare for the summoning. Pay attention, this next part is important. You've got my undivided your attention. The score in the game is tied to the combination of your wallet <gasps> and your sewer pass. If you give away your pass or get oh, no. to another wallet, the score does not go with it. Oh my god. It's now a new wallet and pass combination. However, if you get that same pass back, as long as it's in the original wallet you played with, your high score will be there. Passes can only have one score tied to them. So when the sewer closes on February 8th, we will be re-verifying every single entry. So how did this all go? I didn't know it passed. Also, take note. When the sewer closes, the leaderboard freezes. After scores are validated, your sewer passes will be eligible for the most exciting part yet. No, no more oh, excitement. Summoning. It's too much. Oh, oh. The great dog prophet has been stuck in the box that Curtis received. Oh. Conditions are right to How much money? Summoning ritual that will bring incredible power sources from another dimension oh my God. to our world. Wubba wubba dub dub. Gary will be watching oh. you in the sewer because on February 15th, eligible sewer passes can participate in the summoning. Your best score will determine what it reveals. So keep those sewer passes close by. The reveal is just My the God, end. those sewer Your passes are worth more than gold. Be able to evolve through a They're diamonds. Of various ape coin powered mini games as the story continues. These power sources are your key to what comes next. Okay, that was a lot. But before you go posting about it on Twitter, screenshot this Nobody did. so you have something to- Just to illustrate the massive fall off on NFTs, this flew so far under the radar, radar, none of the like crypto bro brainwashed NFT drone bots even bothered posting about it. I never heard about it. And I am glued to these kind of goofy NFT fumbles. And this video would have been something that would have been dunked on by like half of the people on YouTube and no one even bothered talking about it. That is how far off or how far they have fallen. Beautiful. Absolutely. They, they have really hit the shitter. They are deep in the sewer without a pass to get them out. Poetic. To reference. You can also check out our official website and FAQ. This has all of the answers you'll need in text format, even if you don't read. And please double check every link you click to make sure you're going to the real deal. It's almost time to literally go ape shit. Oh, uh, I've been wanting to say that one for a while. See you in the sewer. Man, what a great idea. Thanks to Tier 1 Dragon in the resub Snow, Tennis, Onion, Zappy, Fish, and the 3 gift subs Snow. Thank you for that. We've already watched that one, Smokey. And the bits teach on. So how did this go? Uh, I'm sure Young will cover how the game actually went. So this is him going through the trailer. 
random dumb words being thrown all of what I just explained. Yeah, that you've go. got numerous articles like PC gamers here titled the Board Apes NFT is literally about chasing shit and all of what I just explained is kind of explained right here, but alongside that, the performance of this game is... Hold on, wait, here the actual raw numbers. Sewer passes are being offered for sale for absurd amounts of money. The floor price for a sewer pass on OpenSea translates to nearly $3,100 in real money. The total volume of sewer pass sales on OpenSea at this moment stands at 13k ETH, which works out to nearly 21 mil. And some fucking goofball paid $9,700 for a tier 4 sewer pass. Those are still very high numbers. Still plenty of gullible idiots parting with some money. I imagine it's only whales left though. Because this used to be nothing to Bored Apes. Bored Apes was a multi-billion dollar business. So their big game here only doing 21 mil total. That's that's quite a colossal fall off. But it is higher than I would have thought given how little people even discussed it. Is it Brian Brock? This is insane to me. Who are they buying to flex it to? I don't think they're doing it to flex anymore. They truly think they're, they very much adopted that belief is, you know, buying the dip. All of the NFTs are in that big dip and they are thinking that they're 10 steps ahead, that they're buying the dip and they're going to make a ton of money in the future. Though I just don't see a world where shit like NFTs, board apes bounce back and the hysteria starts again. It's a fucking joke and it's become synonymous with scams. So I just don't see that happening. But who knows? Maybe it does. And maybe all of the people that have a sewer pass and a dookie dash are going to be the prophets. The ones that saw the future and made out like bandits. Thanks for the raid boxing. And thanks to the Prime YDS. There is a video of gameplay of dookie dash and the video claims it's the future of gaming. Yeah, I'll check it out. Here, let me take a peek. Collaboration alert. Doodles and Board Ape Yacht Club NFT game unite to offer incredible free gifts. That's probably not the one. We minted two sewer pass and this is what we did. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Um, yeah, here we go. We've just got the first tape for the first mutant. Absolute nice. Very nice website, super clean, no lags whatsoever. Gas fee right there, almost $15, which is fairly okay, I would say. Remembering back, I've paid like $6,000 for the other site drop. That was absolute nuts. And, cyber. and um, yeah, so this is considerably very, very low fees right there. Waiting a little bit of time. There we go. The transaction just went through. I've just got my first pass. And here we go, my second pass for my second mutant. Let's go. Another and yes, Spending I, did, spree. I, I did sell it at 8.5 ETH. I was kind of, well, timing was okay, I would say. The floor already dropped so badly from then. So I'm actually happy about that. Prime Claiming carbs. the second pass right here, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right the when does the game start? Anyway, opinion. Of it was the, the floor breaking long. Pretty much the floor. But let's okay. Just back. Yeah. Open up this. Got a link for the like, game pass. Obviously, two Cool. Amazing gameplay. Now oh, here we go, a Dookie Dash high score run. You'll pay two ape coin for a power shark pack. <laughs> if it was free, it would actually be like charmingly shit. But keep in mind, this is $3,100 for access to this game for three weeks, and then you're paying money on top of it for a power shark pack. They are actually laughing in your face. They are feeding you shit, literally, and you're paying for it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I have no sympathy for all the people that have lost un incalculable amounts of money on this. What a joke. Exit the Prime C. Did he get the power shirt? Nice, good power shirt. 
This should be a good run then. All right, we're in. Let's go, gamers. Woo! Move over, Elden Ring. There's a new sheriff on the block. Wow. This guy's good. Please the reset Vito and the Prime Dez in noon. Boy, we're going in. This is a 65,000 point power shard. Oh! And there goes $3,100. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Awesome. Well, hey, man, I'm sure it was a lot of fun.